Let's look at x squared plus y squared plus 8x minus 6y equals 0. Well, this x squared plus y squared seems like a circle, but what are these other terms doing here? Well, they indicate to us that the circle center is not 0, 0. So let's rearrange the terms and take another look. We'll have x squared plus 8x. We'll also have y squared minus 6y. And all that's still equal to 0. What we're going to do to try to make it look like the general form that we were looking at in a, moment, a moment ago is to complete the square twice. We're going to complete the square over here. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 squared is 16. So we'll have to add 16 to both sides to complete that square. And then we'll have x plus 4 squared. Now we'll do the same thing with the y's. To complete the square here, negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Squared is 9. So we'll have to add 9 to both sides to complete this square. And that will give us y minus 3 squared equals 16 plus 9 is 25. Now we've done just what we wanted to do. We've made our equation look like x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So we know that the center now is equal to negative 4, positive 3, opposite signs. And that the radius is equal to 5. So completing the square with both x's and y's will help us get the format that will tell us what the center is. And once we know the center and the radius, we could go ahead and find some points that would help us get a sketch of our circle. For instance, if we go to negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, that's the center of the circle. So where is the circle? Well, it's 5 down from there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's 5 to the right of there. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's 5 above there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it's 5 to the left of there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So those are the quarter points of our circle with radius 5. So memorize the forms for the formulas and the fact that you get this x minus h, y minus k form by completing the square if you're not given that form to begin with.